Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about rational expressions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, v minus 7 times v plus 8 over v plus 8 times v minus 10 divided by 1 over v minus 10, and we have to simplify this and state the excluded values. Well, first thing here, let's go, I don't like writing division with a fraction, let's make this a multiplication. So we keep the v minus 7 and the v plus 8 here over, again, that v plus 8, bringing all that over from right here, and the v minus 10. But this is the same as being multiplied by, we flip the fraction here, and now we have a v minus 10 over 1. And this actually makes it a little easier to see. We can start crossing some things out that repeat. v minus 10 and v minus 10, they cancel each other out. v plus 8 and the v plus 8 cancel each other out. So what are we left with? Well, we're left with just that v minus 7 in the numerator. And so this is actually our simplified value of this expression. But we need to find the excluded values. So we actually have to look back to our original uh, expression here, and we'll take them apart with what's going on when we flipped over the v minus 10. With rational expressions, we can't have a zero in the denominator. Okay, so that's what we're looking at here. Be careful with this v minus 10 here, because that actually, when we're dividing it, flips up, and we can have a zero in the numerator. That's fine. So the only thing we're really focused on is right here, the v plus 8 and v minus 10. So we set that equal to 0, v plus 8, v minus 10 here. We set it equal to 0, and then well, we have to solve. We can set both parts now individually equal to 0, and then solve. Subtract an 8 to both sides, and we have a negative 8. Add a 10 to both sides, and v equals a positive 10. And so our two excluded values are negative 8 and a positive 10. And again, our simplified expression is just a v minus 7, and that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.